Good Monday, everyone. I'm meteorologist Dave Snyder at the National Weather Service with Alaska Statewide Weather. Low pressure continues to sit and spin across the eastern parts of the Gulf of Alaska at 989 millibars. It's not a terribly well-formed area of low pressure. However, it's doing the job. Uh, look for some areas of thunder across the central and eastern Gulf this afternoon. That will slowly wane away. Uh, some of that's been very isolated, so don't expect an onslaught of thunderstorms across southeast, but it's out there. Across southern parts of southeast in the inner channels, light rain will continue from from this afternoon and into this evening. And if you're north of the Alaska Range into the 40 mile country, well, a winter weather advisory continues for your area as well as uh, the northern slopes of the Alaska Range into Denali. Some places there you may see upwards of four to eight inches and right along the slopes of the eastern Alaska Range itself, the advisory uh, contains enough snow up to 10 inches in some cases. So plan for a snowier day tomorrow. Those advisories will expire at six o'clock on Tuesday. Tonight, look for continued snow chances up and down the Brooks Range. Most of that will be fairly light and include areas of flurries and fog, especially as you head northward toward Barrow and uh, the northern point of the Arctic coast. High pressure sitting right across the Bering Strait, guiding much drier and colder air down through the YK Delta and over Norton Sound, all the way down into Bristol Bay. As moisture returns from the Pacific, look for that to create areas of fog and drizzle across the central and eastern Bering Sea, and that's flowing into low pressure coming off of the eastern side of Siberia. That's pretty weak week right now, but it looks like it'll strengthen in the next 24 hours. And there's a new low moving into the central Aleutians. High pressure has eroded away, and the low will drop to 992 millibars by tomorrow afternoon. The occlusions working across the Aleutians, the triple point low a little bit farther south of Sand Point, and as that works northward, expect the winds to come up again from the south across the eastern Aleutians and the southern tip of the Alaskan Peninsula. Most of those right now will likely be uh, moderate to high-end gales, but there's potential for that to strengthen, so keep an eye on that. By Wednesday afternoon, low pressure spreading into the Gulf, and the low is filling in somewhat. A low down to 992 millibars will stretch into the central Gulf, but it leaves a piece behind, hanging south of the Sand Point uh, area. And as that happens, the occlusion should stretch into the Bering Sea. So winds will wrap around across the southern Bering Sea in Bristol Bay. Rain should come up there for Kodiak Island. And light rain may start to affect the coast around south central. And more rains headed for southeast with more snow showers across the Alaska Range. With Alaska Statewide Weather, I'm meteorologist Dave Snyder.